Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the next episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install Linux app images in Chromebook. Now, in this video, we're gonna be using Kden Live as the example, but this will work with just about any app image that's available. Now, before I jump into the tutorial, I'm gonna assume that you already have Linux beta support turned on on your Chromebook. If you don't, click this link right up here. There's a video that shows you how to turn that on. And because we're doing Kden Live, if you're doing a, something like a video editor or graphics editor, anything that's graphically intensive, you also wanna turn GPU acceleration on. So I'm gonna assume you have that on as well. Again, I have another video, click this link if you wanna know how to turn that on. So once those are both turned on, come back to this video and I will show you how to install Kden Live using an app image on your Chromebook. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is go out to the website for whatever application you're downloading. In this case, we're gonna be going out to the Kden Live site. And in the downloads area, they have a bunch of app images that you can download. So I'm gonna download that app image. It just downloads like any other file and we'll wait for that to complete. So we have that app image downloaded and right now it's in our downloads folder, but we're not gonna be able to see that from our Linux installation. So we need to copy that file. So just open up the files app, go into your downloads area, copy that file and paste it into the Linux files. That'll copy it over into an area that we'll be able to see it from the terminal so we can continue on with the next step. Now that that file is copied over into the Linux files area, we need to open our, our Linux terminal. So we wanna open up our apps list or just tap on the search icon and type in terminal. That'll bring that up and we'll be ready to input our commands. So when you first download the app image, it's not set as executable, meaning we can't run it at this point. So we need to issue a command to change that. You type in sudo space chmod space a plus x space the name of the application. Now a little tip here is you can start typing the name of the application and then hit tab. If it's the only application in that directory that starts with those letters you typed, it'll automatically fill in the rest of the name and then you just hit enter. So now that the app image is set as executable, we are ready to launch it. And to do that, we just type in period slash and then the name of the application, it'll just launch it right up and we'll be able to use the app. In this case, Kden Live, we can drag our video files in, start editing. You can do this with GIMP or Krita or tons of other Linux applications that have app images available. You can download them and install them in this way. So that's all there is to it. You just download the app image, copy it to Linux files, make it executable and run it. Now, the reason you would wanna do this versus installing it through like sudo apt install is that when you do the apt install, it uses the repositories and usually there's very old versions of these applications in this repository. Using the app image, you can go out to the vendor's website and download newer versions. The reason why I didn't pick the very newest for Kden Live is that I've done hours of testing with Kden Live and those newer versions do not work properly on my Chromebook, but for other applications like GIMP or Krita or anything like that, those brand newest app images will probably work just fine and you'll be able to run those uh, newest versions of those applications. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down in the comments section below. If you have any recommendations for future videos, also please leave those. If you found this useful and informative, hit that thumbs up. If you really enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.